Good morning, Grab Two. This is uh, Mr. Muhammad, your teacher of English, and today, inshallah, we will start our first session in poetry with the first poem that we are going to start this term, inshallah. It's called "Bid in Summer," written by Robert Louis Stevenson. There are two points that we need to focus on before we go into our poem. Number one: Who is Stevenson? Briefly, he is an English writer. He was born in Scotland, in Edinburgh, and this is a country in the United Kingdom. Kingdom. He studied law, and he was a lawyer, but he used to write poetry and novels as well. Item number two, or point number two, is. The main idea of the poem. The poet here is talking about the weather conditions in England. England is different in its weather than any other country in the world. In winter, they don't see the sunlight until late in the afternoon, and in summer, it's the opposite way or the opposite idea. The sun doesn't leave or doesn't go down doesn't goes down until late in the in the in the evening about seven or eight o'clock in the evening so the poet here is discussing the weather conditions in england in relation to or in relation with the children let's see this video clip together and find out about the poem more Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson. In winter, I get up at night and dress by yellow candlelight. In summer, quite the other way, I have to go to bed by day. I have to go to bed and see the birds still hopping on the tree or hear the grown up people's feet still going past me in the street and doesn't it not seem so hard to you when all the sky is clear and blue and i should like so much to play to have to go to bed by day well as you can see it's related to the children who live in england and they are affected by the weather conditions. Right. Let's go to the first stanza and we need to paraphrase, explain the lines. In winter I get up at night and dress by yellow candle light. In summer, quite the other way, I have to go to bed by day. Here, he is telling us that in winter season the only light that you could see during the morning during the morning hours is the yellow light of the candles which means that they don't see the sunlight in summer it's the opposite why because the sun doesn't go down until late in the evening and this is the main problem that he is discussing here he has to go to bed and the sky is still clear this is the paraphrase of of stanza number one stanza number two i have to go to bed and see the birds still hopping on the tree or hear the grown-up people's feet still going past me in the street he is giving us more details and more evidence that it's unfair for him to go to sleep early in the summer time why he's telling us that he could hear the sound of the birds who are singing and jumping on the trees evidence number two he also tells us that he could hear 
the people in the streets walking everywhere going everywhere so according to him it's not right to go to sleep early this is paraphrase for stanza 2 stanza number 3 and it does does it not seem hard to you when all the sky is clear and blue and I should like so much to play to have to go to bed by day and then end the line with a question mark this is very strange to us to see a question in a poem like that simply the poet wants to ask the reader a question he wants to share his thoughts and ideas with the readers he is asking simply do you think it's fair for the children in the summer time in England to see the sky clear the Sun is still clear in the sky and they hear the sound of the birds and they also hear people walking in the streets everywhere and going everywhere and he because he is a child has to go to sleep do you think it's fair this is the paraphrase for the poem let's go to an important thing which you had learned before the rhyme scheme you know when you wanted to get the rhyme scheme go for the last word in the line and start to listen to the last sound here at the first line night t -t -t. this is the sound we are going to refer to it with the letter a go to the next line and to the last word you will find also the same sound in the word light t -t -t. a so a a now let's repeat that in the rest of the lines and we will find that we have B B C C D D E E and B B this is the rhyme scheme now let's go to find the figures of speech in that poem and the writing technique in stanza number two the line which starts with hoping on the tree personification and let me remind you what is personification it means that we are going to have a human characteristic and give it to something that is not human here hopping on the tree he compared birds to some men who can jump on their feet. This is the only figure of speech that we could find here. Writing technique. In stanza number one, we have alliteration in the word to, to, bed, by, and also the the still street what do we mean by alliteration the poet used to repeat one letter in more than one word here we have the letter T and the letter S stanza number three we have also the word T is repeated in two 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 bed and by the letter P and he used that type of writing technique to give internal music to the poem in commentary to sum up our main ideas here the poet succeeded to attract the reader so that he could sympathize with his main idea which is it's unfair for the children to sleep early in summer time and at the same time it's very clear that we could see the feeling of a children when they wanted to be free in nature as we said the poem
consists of three stanzas and the rhyme scheme is A A B B C C D D E E B B of course using the line using the using the rhyme scheme helps us to find out more about the idea which the poet wants to give us you will find here questions with modal answers about the poem and then you will find your homework what is the main idea of the poem what does the poem says what is the poet's complaint about number three what made the poet annoyed of both the winter and summer in the first stanza number four what is the rhyme scheme of the first stanza number five paraphrase stanza number two thank you and inshallah we are going to meet in other sessions goodbye